Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 326, power of three. So we're given an integer n, and we need to return true if it's a power of three, otherwise return false. Now an integer n is a power of three if there exists an integer x such that n is equal to three to the power of x. So let's look at the examples. In example one, we have n, which is equal to 27, and the output here is true. Now, why is that? Well, three to the power of three is equal to 27. Example two, n is equal to zero. The output is false. Why is this? Well, nothing can be raised to the power of three that provides us with the value of zero. Likewise, with example three, n is equal to minus one. And the explanation, there is no x where three to the power of x equals minus one. Also to note, there is a follow-up could you solve it without using loops or recursion? So we are going to be looking at two potential solutions here. So let's start off with the recursive solution. So this recursive solution is very similar to the power of two leak code question. And all we're doing is we're going to be dividing this by three recursively over and over again until we reach the value of one. If we reach the value of one, we know that 27 can be divided by three. So there is a power that can be raised to three that provides us with the output of 27. So let's run for it. 27 divided by three gives us nine. Nine divided by three gives us three. Three divided by three gives us one. So we have recursively called this until we reach one. Now, obviously there's a base case. So if N, for example, is less than one, we return false, right? Because there is no value that could be raised to the power of three that gives us a negative answer. So what is the time complexity of this? The question that we need to ask is how many times do we divide 27 by in order to get to one? Let's break it down. So we have one, two, three. It takes 27 three times to be divided by three in order to get to one. And this is represented as log base three of 27 equaling three. Three is the base, so it's what we're dividing by at each step. 27 is the starting element, so the starting point. And then three is the output. So it's the amount of times we have divided this value by three in order to get to one. And with this, constants can be dropped and this can be simplified to log n. Now let's look at the alternative approach. So in the constraints of the question, it's stated that the largest value that we can go to is two to the power of 31 minus one. Now this represents a 32 bit integer. So this is the upper limit. Now, if we do some simple arithmetic, two to the power of 31 minus three to the power of 20 gives us a negative value. So we will never reach three to the power of 20, because this is out of bound. Conversely, if we do two to the power of 31 minus three to the power of 19, this is a positive value. So we will definitely reach this. So we can use this as our upper bound, in which case we need to check if n is greater than zero and three to the power of 19 is divisible by the number in question. If it is, then we know that this is the result of a power of three. So just to reiterate, three to the power of 19 is the upper bound of powers that we can raise that is within our limit of two to the power of 31. Right, so the 32-bit integer. If this is divisible by our number, so we use modulo, and if it equals zero, we know for a fact that this number right here is the result of raising three to the power of x. And because we have the upper bound set, and this is always going to be constant, the time complexity for this is O1 constant. Okay, let's hop over to delete code and code these out. Let's start off by writing the base cases. So if n is equal to one, we can return true because this is definitely gonna produce a power of three n is less than or equal to zero, it can never produce a power of three, so we return false. And if n modulo three doesn't equal zero, well, it's not divisible by three, so it's not a power of three, so we return false. Then all that's left to do is carry out the recursive call, so it's power of three, pass in n divide by three. So each step here, we're getting one step closer to reaching one of these base cases, in which case we're gonna hop out of this and return true or false based on the value of n passed in. So this is running in log n time complexity. Let's check the solution. Now for the alternative approach, we said we'd state if n is greater than zero, then we can check three to the power of 19, which is our up bound. If that's divisible by n, then we know that it's a power of three. So we can return this and this is running in constant time. Great, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.